Hi, welcome along to Transfer Daily, the show that takes a look at players that have been linked with a January transfer move to Arsenal. Going to kick off today with Winston Reid. We've been mentioning him ever since the transfer window has been um, opened. He's been linked with Arsenal. We all know the scenario with Winston Reid. He's um, only got... Um, well, a few months, you could call it, left on his contract because in the summer, he's going to be uh, free to move to whatever club he wants. And we're hearing today that he has told um, the hierarchy at West Ham that he wants to move to Arsenal. He wants the Arsenal move. And um, he's saying that, listen, I'm not going to sign a new contract at West Ham because I really, really, really want to go and move to Arsenal. And... Um, this, I suppose, is encouraging news um, for Arsenal because they, they, they all know that they can get the player. I still think it's going to be one that if they do move for Winston Reid, they're probably going to wait for it to go down nearer to the window because, let's face it, if they do that, uh, the deal will become cheaper. Um, but he wants to move and it seems to be obvious that something is going on there um, behind the scenes. We saw the other day uh, when West Ham played on against Hull City, that they started with um, Tompkins and Collins in that game. They didn't start with um, Winston Reid, and he's been the, the, like their main player, their mainstay. So that tells and that shows you that there's definitely something going on behind the scenes. We know that West Ham want to keep him. We know that West Ham, if they are going to lose him, want to get as big a fee as they possibly can. But um, certainly that is hot enough especially now that Winston Reid has officially said, listen, I want an Arsenal move. I want to go to Arsenal. If there's a chance of that happening, that is where I want to go. Another player who seemingly wants to come to Arsenal is Gabriel Paulista. Paulista um, plays for Villarreal. Um, he's Brazilian, 24 years of age, considered um, very, very good defender. And... Um, he as well has also said, listen, I want to go to Arsenal. You know, I've heard about this interest in me. I'd love to play for um, such a big club as Arsenal, play alongside players like Alexis Sanchez, Mesut Ozil. But remember, these guys are big pools now for Arsenal. Um, and he is very, very keen on a move um, from Villarreal to Arsenal. Again, there's a couple of sticking points with this one. There is, of course, the the, the whole um, work permit issue, which we spoke about yesterday, the fact that he hasn't played for Brazil yet. So to get a work permit will be really, really difficult. Um, although, I don't know, he, he, the amount of interest that Arsenal are, are apparently showing um, in him um, seems to indicate that they are quite confident that they will be able to get the work permit thing sorted out if um, it comes down to that. Um, we're hearing also today of two other things. Um, number one, Villarreal um, would like to get Joel Campbell um, in exchange. Um, that's not going to happen because, you know, price-wise, he's, he's valued way more than what um, Paul Easter would read, which would be probably about £5 million. But we're also hearing today that Manchester United are also very interested in signing Paul Easter and um, are willing to put a bid in as well. So Man United... Um, interested in signing him, as they are also interested in signing another target that we spoke about yesterday, um, Otto Femdi, um from Villarreal, sorry, from Valencia. They're very interested in him as well. So Arsenal are going to face some competition for these guys, but both of them, um, Winston Reid and Paul Easter, are both indicated that they would both like to sign for Arsenal if it's possible for that to happen. So that's encouraging for Arsenal if they do want to make that happen. Um, some links today for a player that used to play for Arsenal. There's been links today for this guy to come back to play for Arsenal. And that is Alex Song. Alex Song, of course, remember when he was at Arsenal, he did really, really well. The funny thing about, um, about him is that very, in, very similar to Francis Coquelin, he was having a bit of a rough time of it at Arsenal. Went on loan to Charlton and that completely turned him around. He, he, he became a man there. He, he, you know, was like their main player, best player there. Came back from Charlton, played really well. Remember that season where he did all those assists for Robin Van Persie? And um, he went to Barcelona, um, didn't work out. And then he's come back now. He's on loan at West Ham and he's been doing great things this season. Speak to any West Ham fan, they will tell you that he's their best player. Um, 
Now, there's a lot of links today linking Alex Song with a move back for Arsenal. Um, I think a lot of that is based on the fact that Thierry Henry in his commentary um, on Sunday was saying that he thinks that, you know, he'd be a perfect signing for Arsenal. Why don't Arsenal go back and bring Alex Song back in? Listen, um, I don't know. I'm a bit mixed about this one. Is Alex Song that out-and-out holding midfielder? Um, and then also there was a, the, the, the issues of when he left, apparently, um, he, he, the rumours were that he, you know, because he knew about the move to Barcelona, got a bit cocky and, you know, and fell out with a few people um, around the dressing room, etc. I don't know about this. These are rumours. But I don't know. This may not be a bad shout because this guy's playing really well. He knows Arsenal through and through. He loves Arsenal still, um, Alex Song, I think. I think he'd welcome a move back. He'd be used to the place. The other good thing about Alex Song, he's versatile. He can also play as a centre-back as well. He can drop back into that position. Could Alex Song be the answer? You never know. I mean, the only thing about that is that we know we wouldn't be able to get him now because he's on a season-long loan from Barcelona. So he's definitely going to be at West Ham till the end of the season. But could Alex Song be something, a sign-in that could happen in the summer with a move back to Arsenal? Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. And talking on players that moved to Charlton and then have done well, well, France, Coquelin has done exactly that. Just like what Alex Song done, um, he's gone on loan to, to Charlton. Previous to that, of course, he was on loan at Freiburg. He was on loan at Lorient. Didn't really work out for him at either of those clubs. Wasn't even really playing, um, getting much games. Wasn't, you know, maybe he didn't get his head down. Maybe he was a bit upset that he was out on loan. But the, the recent loan at Charlton, he got called back really on an emergency. And the last five games that he played, he's been absolutely brilliant. The game against Manchester City, to keep David Silva quiet, Fernandinho, etc. It was, it's, that was the real test for me. And he passed it with flying colours. And today we're being told that um, Francis Coquelin is going to be offered a new contract. His contract is actually up in the summer. So you could say he's literally come back and saved his Arsenal career. And we're being told that he's going to be offered a brand new three-year contract, which if ever a player has come back and really deserved that, it's got to be Coquelin because he has been absolutely brilliant. And he showed his what everybody at Arsenal um, behind the scenes knew he had for a long time. He is a very, very good player, very good prospect. He's been playing for the club for a while. He's in the same, um, you know, with Jack Wilshire and, uh, and that, you know, came up through the same... Um, youth team, and Coquelin is going to be getting offered a brand new deal, and I think that's well deserved. And is Coquelin, is the fact that Coquelin has played so well, does that mean now that Arsenal are not going to go in for a defensive midfielder um, in this January transfer window? Um, I kind of get the feeling that they may be thinking to themselves, well, you know what, let's leave that till the summer, unless we can get our target, which I understand is Schneidlin is their main target, unless we can get him right now um, maybe they might be thinking we'll just go with Coughlin. He's been excellent. Fans are loving him at the moment as well. And he may just have saved Arsene Wenger a load of money. <laughs> but listen, let, let's see what you guys had to say. I remember yesterday I was asking you guys um, about defenders who you guys think we should bring in. <clears throat> um, let's see, <clears throat> excuse me, what you guys had to say. Um, Jabba Noodle said, uh, Otamendi, sorry, I said Otafendi earlier. And Otamendi, he said, would be amazing, performing incredibly at Valencia. Maybe we could pull it off in the summer. Again, yeah, Otamendi's been linked heavily. But again, I was thinking that, are Valencia going to sell him? He's, he is their main defender. Are, are they going to sell him to, to Arsenal in the January transfer window? And if they do, it's going to be a lot of money. Um, Rob Hull says, I'm concerned about buying defenders from Spain, he says who haven't had Premier League experience. Didn't exactly work out for us with Scalacci, a highly rated player at Sevilla, but utter lumux in the Premiership. He said, I doubt the highest regarded centre-backs in La Liga could hack the demands of the Premier League. Interesting point there, interesting point. Um, Mr Perfect Vision says, we should definitely stick with Coquelin because we he we have been a hundred times better defensively since he's been playing. 
and he's proved himself against one of the best attacking teams in Europe. And that's definitely true. And I, I think I, I can't remember if I was making this point yesterday on the program or if it was just one of my friends we were talking. I was saying, had we had signed Cochrane as a brand new signing and he had performed how he performed in the past five games, we'd all be raving about this brilliant signing. He has been, you know, like uh, we've heard Elson Wenger say over the years, it's like a new signing. This guy has been like a new sign, and this is one where you can genuinely say that, Francis Cochrane. Um, Shadow Awareness says, um, sign a good centre back in January and in the summer, bring in Schneidlin and Lacazette, and we are contenders for every football competition. Lacazette, of course, who's doing big things over there this season in um, France for Lyon. Uh, Lyon's president has um, said he's going to cost about um, £28 million, he's worth as much money as Boney, he's saying. Um, when he's ready to go. I don't think he'll go for that much money, but if he keeps banging in the amount of goals that he's been doing for Leon right from now till the end of the season, he certainly is going to go for a lot of money in the summer and will interest Arsenal. Um, Danny West says, Robbie, I li- this is an interesting one. He says, Robbie, I live in Spain and Paulista is good, but not Arsenal standard. He said his teammate, Musashio, I hope I pronounced that, is much better. He also says Otamendi is a world-class Argentine international, but I doubt Valencia will sell him. Interesting, that one. Um, Arsenal guy said, I wish we did our transfer business early like City. He said, this is how City do it. Develop interests. Two, Arab owners go in with an unrejectable offer, number three, medical. Well, you, you, you struck it there when you said Arab owners go in with unrejectable offer. They're able to splash the cash at it. Um, the Radical Hybrid says, this is a complete random thought, but how about Leonardo Bonucci from Juventus? He says he's tall, strong, quick, good on the ball, a Wenger dream signing, not saying that we'll get him, but he's just an option to consider. And um, Mr. Kois Gusta says, I would cut my arm off, he says, for Otamendi. So a lot of uh, shouts there for Otamendi. And um, still loads of players getting linked in that defensive position. It's really hard for Arsene Wenger, but he's got two players today that <clears throat> basically said, Arsene, I'll sign for Arsenal. And that's Winston Reid and Paul Easter. Who's he going to get? That is what we're going to find out between now and the 2nd of February.